Oh no! Bastel is gone. She's no longer chilling up here with Karth. Ah, oh, what else is there to do but go onward to Koriban? The fu oh wait, <laughs> what am I doing? We're already on the planet. <laughs> we landed in the last video, dude. Okay, as you might have already guessed, this is a new recording session, and I have no idea what's going on. Oh wait, we should bump up our lightsabers before we uh head out into the world, shouldn't we? Make sure that I've got what I want on mine, and then we need to decide. I kind of already know. You know what? They might they might already be ready to go. Yeah, they're good. Okay, so you know who I'm taking with me now, or uh. Hmm. Who should I take with me? No, I gotta take HK for this one. So I guess it'll be HK and Juhani. That'll be the mat the matchup that I want. Because I I really want to see HK's responses on this planet. Normally I would bring Jolie because that's the party I normally have is Jolie and Juhani. But HK is just so funny, and now that we've been revealed as as Revan, you know, that's wow. I mean, it seems it's so weird that I can actually talk about it now. I, I mean, I'm sure that we got enough of that in the last video, so I'll just shut up about it, but... Wow. Alright, let's go ahead and level up HK. There goes that trigger again. Ah, attributes. Well, dexterity will be great, so that we can have a better shot with our blaster. What else have we got here? Repairs and allow him to heal himself, so that might be a good thing to keep up there. Demolitions? I guess that's a class skill for you, huh? We'll keep that then. Ah, the battle droid logic upgrade. Okay, good. All right, well, let's make him just a bit tougher. That's what we're really gonna want there, because we don't have too many of those repair kits, and we'll probably get plenty of time of chances to up his skills. So, no worries. We we'll probably have a few level ups waiting. I'm not sure how many planets it's been since we took HK out with us, but he's coming along for the ride now. As you can see, I basically did the same thing every level up. I don't really do a lot of variety. All right, so we have our toughness maxed out. We've got our upgrades. Yeah, more adaptable. What does it do? Oh, it allows you to... It's like your implant upgrades, almost. It's pretty similar. Hmm. Two up in fighting. Alright, well, what does he have specialty in? Blaster rifles. You see, that's just... I mean, it's only plus one attack, so I'm not totally obligated to use blaster rifles. In fact, I might want to go with dual wielding and give him Karth's guns because that may be the best way to handle this. Uh, well, I don't know. There's some really good blaster rifles out there. There's some carbines and things that can be pretty nasty, actually. Well, if I'm going to give him that, what feat do I pick now? Because I'm not going to pick dueling or dual wielding because they're both useless now. I guess I'd have to go with power blast, but... See, see I guess we'll... Yeah, we'll play HK as a blaster rifle character, just because I don't have another character who has blaster rifles as a skill, so... What blaster rifles have we got now? We've got blaster carbine, I suppose that's pretty much a basic blaster rifle. Alright, I'm just gonna scroll through and see... Okay, there's a bowcaster. Ah, we can give him one of the bowcasters. That's a good good pick to go with. Chundar's personal bowcaster. What about Zalbar's? I wonder who's better, which is better of the two. 1 to 10, attack modifier plus 1. Okay, let's look at Chundar's. Wow, 3 to 12. Physical damage bonus. Wow, okay, well, we'll give him that then. Okay, so we can give him all kinds of cool things here. Advanced flamethrower, if you'd like. Stun rays. Alright, let's max out what we can do here. Security or computer use. Security would be more useful, I believe, so let's see. Actually, well, computer use might be a good thing to have as well. But it's, it's untrained in him, though, isn't it? So it's not going to be any point to have that. All right, advanced targeting computer. Oh, that offers some some bonus feats. Okay, good. What else can we pick? Superior targeting computer. Ah, I see. Specialization feats. Okay, good. We've already got those, but it's still nice to have. Defense bonus ten. All right, we get anything higher than that? I saw an eleven there. Take that. Advanced computer tool. Oh, I see. We'll bump that up there. Uh, what other shields do we have? Oh, these are all pretty much the same. He's not going to be using any of these anyway, so... doesn't really matter. Okay, I guess that's what we want. He's got a defense of 30. Is that good compared to our other characters? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. He's at the highest of any of the party members. Okay, well. What are we waiting for? Let's begin exploring the planet. So, here on Corbin, we're going to 
basically be moving through a world populated entirely by the Sith. And that can mean a few things, and the most, <laughs> most frequent implication of that is that all of our D-Lungs are going to have to be a little bit on edge, because the Sith are not very friendly. Ah, I see, I see. Another Jedi come to Small Quarterbone, yes? Good to meet you. Wait a minute, how do you know I'm a Jedi? <laughs> only from the lightsaber you're carrying, naturally. Only Jedi carry ones like that. There are many people who come to Korban from, out, from throughout Sith space hoping to join the Academy. Some of them are Jedi who have left the Order. You will get into the Academy for certain. I understand Jedi who have left the light side are made very welcome. Yeah, that's right to figure. But enough about that. It's very nice to see that the Ebon Hawk has returned. I have not seen that ship for quite some time indeed. Since you're a regular to our little colony, the docking fee is only 25 credits. That's not really necessary, is it? Uh, I suppose there's a need to charge the owner of the Ebon Hawk any fee, really. I'll open the door for you. Ah, thank you. Enjoy your stay in Dresde. 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 Yep, that's the port. that is the wrong answer. Again! You pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? Please, Master Shardon, give us a chance. We'll do anything to get to the Academy. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. A lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards? Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Thank you, Shadon. We, uh, we understand now. No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the Academy. The other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should... Uh, hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the Academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the Academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Advisement. Evisceration works well. Electrocution and blunt trauma also work well, I understand. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Or perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. What do you think? I just can't seem to decide. Huh. <laughs> Why are you asking me, anyway? Please, tell him to let us go, I beg you! Silence. Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from dealing with hopefuls like these. I can barely think straight. Besides, I find it fun. Come now. A decision, please. Uh... I don't know. You just scare them a little bit. Maybe they'll leave the planet. You're as pathetic as they are, it looks like. <laughs> I can't be bothered. Get out of here, all of you. The sight of you makes me sick to my stomach. Yeah, hopefully they'll go home to their mums. Stop trying to become Sith. Dumb folks. What? Dark side points gained. Light side points gained. Net dark side shift. I've never seen that before. I've never gotten dark and light side points. How did I get both? That's weird. It's a dark side shift, though. Gotta watch out for that. Actually, it might not be such a bad thing. I have... I mean, how many of my force powers are dark side powers? Well, that's not what I want. No, no, no. Here we go. Okay, so I got one light side. Yeah, okay. One... Two universal powers. One, two... And three dark side powers. Wow, I actually would do well to be... Evil. <laughs> Hell yes, let's embrace it. I'm gonna be the biggest bastard on the universe. Let's see what we can do. Ah, shut up, Bree. I'm gonna talk to you. Uh, Look here, what? my dear friends. We have some newcomers to the colony. Led by a Jedi, no less. I don't believe I've seen any of them before. Have you? I hate Jedi. And these fallen ones are worse. They always get into the academy, and they think they're better than the rest of us. Looks pretty fresh to me, Lashow. 
That's what I thought. Well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please. And we are Sith. Bitch, I'm Revan. Literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? I think I could rip your guts out with my mind. Oh, wait, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I think there's a lot of responsibility for scum like you. How precocious. I think this one tried to make a joke, don't you? I didn't think it was funny. Neither did I. A brave face, perhaps, but I'm more interested in being amused at the moment, I think. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. <laughs> do you know who I am? I'm Darth Revan. Watch your tongue or I'll rip it out. I feel like they would laugh at that thinking it was a joke. That's, that's, that's obviously the setup here. And that's why, that's why you do that. I, I'm not looking for trouble, but I'm not here to amuse you. You might be heading into trouble. Uh, there are two, two Mandalorians out in the woods. <laughs> I want to hear how that joke ends. Please don't hurt me. I don't want to fight. Alright, what's the most antagonistic answer I can come up with? If you really want to fight, just make the first move. It'll be your last. What? <laughs> I think someone just stood up to you, Lasho. Shut up, fool, unless you want to be next. Yeah? Anytime. Stop it. This is boring. Let's just go back to the academy. Fine, we'll go. As for you, I'll find you later. Trust me on that. Alright, we'll show. We'll, we'll remember her. Maybe we get to kill her. Wouldn't that be great? Ha ha ha! Evil, 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 evil. This is gonna be fun, I already can tell. Alright, what's in here? Oh, the usual Zerka shop. Ugh. I don't even know if I want to look and see what they have. It's probably the same crap that all the other ones have. I think we're stealing. I guess we'll look around and see. I don't remember Korriban as well as I remember the other planets. Actually, I know it better than I know Manan, so... I guess that kind of gives you a scope. I know Korriban second worst. Actually, third worst, but... Spoilers! <laughs> Let's see... Pilot? Isn't there another... I thought that there would be... Or for some reason I was thinking there was a... No, what am I even thinking? That's Taurus! Why would I think that that... I was thinking of uh, this guy with uh, two heads standing back here, but... That's that's on Taurus! I have no idea why I... Okay, that's really weird. I'm getting confused. But there should be somebody named Euthura Ban in here. I guess she's not here yet. Maybe I need to go talk to somebody and trigger trigger this to, hap to happen. Uh, with some prospective Sith here. What do you want? Uh, can I ask you something? It's not much I could tell you, unless you're hopeful. Are you? Yeah, actually, uh, I am trying to. Well, wait, I don't know what that means. My character doesn't know what that means. I, we should ask. Uh, there are people who come here all the time to get into the Sith Academy. I'm one of them. Then why are you dressed like a stripper? Oh, wait a minute. We're not joining the Jedi. After the Sith conquer the galaxy, there aren't going to be any more Jedi, are there? I guess I'd rather join the winning side. Oh. I guess I see where you're coming from there, but I think you're wrong. Let's see. How do you get into the Academy, anyway? <sighs> I wish I knew, to tell you the truth. You have to impress one of the Sith, I guess. Either way, it's Euthura Bon who makes the final decision. Really? She's a Twi'lek Sith Master, I hear. Very high rank. She's the one who decides which hopefuls make it in and which ones don't. Where is she? I really couldn't say. I hear that sometimes she comes out into the colony to drink at the cantina, though. But I guess she could be anywhere. Okay, well, I'll go look for her. See you later. Alright. Goodbye. Don't get killed. Uh, is she here now? <laughs> you think she just appeared, maybe? No. I think we might have to come out and leave the area and come back or something. Or at least walk a little bit of ways. If I remember correctly, there's a, a, a random encounter that can happen on this planet, or somebody put something on your ship, or something. I'm not totally sure. I mean, maybe we should just leave, like leave the, through the other door, and then come back into the area. That that should make her appear where she's supposed to be, because she's the one we need to talk to next. And that should uh, that should help us out in our quest. If she's not in there now, because I know where she's supposed to be standing. So let's go out into the, uh, hello. Out into the exterior. I'm not actually sure what you'd call this. Just out into the surface of Korriban. Ah, uh, yep, yep, yep. It's sort of like a, it's almost like a desert world, but it's really rocky. Uh, it's sort of like, 
This is where deserts come from, you know, is these rocks and things, and the sand grinds down. The rest of the rocks makes more sand. Oh, wow. Look at these two guys stumble into the desert. <laughs> wow. What's over here? Oh, I know where this is going. This is what we're supposed to do. This is the entrance to the academy over here. See all the prospective students here? Let's see what their, uh, what their, uh, torturer is saying. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? Sorry, jeez. Wait a minute, are you one of the Sith from the Academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously death, however, since I asked you to leave. I will... never mind. Uh, can I ask you some questions? No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. Oh, Come on, have you heard any good rumors lately? Alright, what about the guard? of a student of this facility. Please, leave at once. Aww. I'm Darth Revan. I was Lord of the Sith! Let me in! Let's we'll see what he thinks of this. I see. And who might your friends be? <laughs> it's obvious you don't believe me, but I really am Darth Revan! On your way, citizen. <laughs> yeah, I got Prince Albert in the can for you, too. Hey, is there no way I can talk to this? I have to stand at attention. Please, don't distract me, whoever you are. What are you doing here? I'm trying to prove my worth to enter the Sith Academy. We were told that if we stood here long enough, we would be worthy. We've been here for so many days. I'm so hungry. Some of us have died. But I must be strong. I must. I will keep standing. Are you stupid? Ugh. I, I can't stop. I must get into the Academy. Mikhail is the Sith over there watching us. He told us we have to do this. I must be strong, and Mikhail will find me worthy s soon, I hope. Okay, can I kill you or something? Is there something specific you wanted? Heard any good rumors lately? No, are you Mikhail? And what if I am? Um... How come you're making everybody stand over there? That is the whole point. Personally, I think it's wonderful fun. Those fools actually think that if they stand there long enough, I'll let them become a Sith. Idiots. A Sith is not a banther, all endurance and no brains. A Sith would fight for his life, no matter the odds. If these rot grubs are as stupid as they seem, then they deserve their fate. Man, you guys are pretty harsh on the newbies, aren't you? Hmm. So this isn't a real test for them. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Oh, it is. I wonder which one will be the last standing. Should I tell him, then, that his hopes are in vain, do you think? You should not toy with people's lives. Hmm. It is a bit boring standing out here all day, however. I think I'll go for some dinner. It will be fun to think of them while I gorge myself. They'll still be here in an hour or two, surely. I suggest you run along before I decide to make you part of the fun. Excuse me? I will rip your guts out with my mind. <laughs> he runs off. I wonder if we can talk to them with some different dialogue now. Leave. Leave me be. I won't listen to your manipulations. I, I will make it into the academy. Just just a few hours longer. Just a few hours, surely. Okay, you guys are si pretty pretty sick. They desperately, desperately want to be Sith. And it's I guess it makes sense. They they sort of explain the logic behind it. They don't have much faith in the Republic winning this war, and as things are now, they're they aren't winning the war, so I guess they're just trying to be on the winning team when it all ends. Alright, so let's see. You see, the thing is with the, with the Sith, if they win, they're gonna, like, kill off all of the Republic, you know, or, you know, kill off or enslave all the Republic worlds. Whereas if the Republic won, they probably would have some mercy on their prisoners. And so, you, you can think of it, if you think of it in the terms of the prisoner's dilemma, it's sort of like the Republic will never sell you out, but the Sith always will. And so, lying and telling the Sith, telling that the Sith, you know, Basically, it, if you think about it logically, it is a better option to side with the Sith. Ah, you're through a band. Wait a minute, was she here when I... Ah, maybe I'm crazy, but here she is, is now. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. Wait, why did you call me Jedi? How does everyone know? Oh, wait, it's the lightsaber. All right, all right. So you know what I am. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Well, you, you guys did kind of blow up Dantooine. But, uh... Anyway, are you the, are you the third band? I need to get into this academy thing. I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the academy? 
Do you wish to become a Sith human? Sure do. And what if I said I already was a Sith? I would consider that an amusing ploy to try and enter the Academy. Why? Who will you claim to be? Darth Malak himself? Revan, actually. What about Revan? Revan is dead. You may have a natural gift for the Force, human, but you've no gift for lies. I really don't, but uh, anyway. A lot of the hopefuls here end up kind of dead. What's going on there? We make no apologies for the weak. If you cannot clench your fist and know when the moment comes to strike, there is no place for you amongst us. Of those who come to train, those who are weak return home. If they are both weak and foolish, they die. But it was their choice to come. Uh, all right. Oh, man. All right, anyway, can I get into this academy? You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Uh, definitely. Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. I'm not Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Uh... I've forgotten most of my training, it seems. What an odd thing to say. Even stranger, I do not sense any deception within you. You are a curious puzzle, human. A puzzle with great power. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? Yeah. Quite a lot, actually. Um, let's see. Hmm. That kind of power. You can be a great Sith. Does that interest you? What do I say here? Yes, you want to accept me into the Yeah, that's dumb. No force was fit a Jedi. Yes, it does. I wish to become a Sith. Sure. Oh, hey, it works! Good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. Score with the persuade skill. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume. No, oh, they're just slaves. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ignore the ignore the lightsaber on the one. I, yes, yes, we are only servants to the <laughs> the master. It has to be so hard for her to say There's that. something odd about this servant of yours. It's the lightsaber. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause trouble. You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the academy? Let's do this, isn't it? Then let us leave. The master of the academy awaits you. Ho ho ho! And thus we become a Sith again, returning to our true nature as Darth Revan. So I guess now you guys can finally, you might finally understand, or if you haven't seen the game before, I actually have Darth Revan in his original armor as part of my background page, and for a long time I don't think anybody really like figured Radiant out why I was there. Prospective students, it appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. Your guts, I my mind. I one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? They're the most powerful order in the galaxy. I know more about the Sith than you. I've just forgotten. Ah, that's kind of a dumb answer, isn't it? The Sith do what they want and pay no deed. No, no, no. The Sith are evil. No. Let's go with the first one. Indeed. Then perhaps you would care to demonstrate for us the powers of a Sith master. Now, Lightning! Ah! Then perhaps you shall. Wait, hey, give me a chance, man. And actually learn something. Your the guts, my lightsaber. The light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition. And it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. 
It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. <laughs> Brash she did the dance fiery, move. <laughs> as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Uh, let's see. Let's do it. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. <laughs> That's more than a kernel. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility Wait, five? with the force. Four there. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Hmm. Who's the fourth pupil? He was never introduced to us in the cutscenes there. Alright, well how long does it take that dark side points gain? You know it, baby. Alright, so I need to stop. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the video here. So hey, Dark Jedi Knight Robe. Let's go ahead and put that on. Let's just let's just do that. I can throw down some more force. Well I've eh, never mind. I like this armor. So in the next episode we're gonna take the first steps as a dark apprentice. And hopefully we'll be able to get enough prestige to get into this academy and then I'm not really sure how this R map is going to come into play here, but I'm sure eventually, you know, <laughs> I'm sure things will become more clear once we find out where it is. Ugh, see you guys later.